Hey everybody, welcome back. Thanks for coming back for the second episode. So, where we last left off, we're kind of, uh, we have the general shape of our first base set up. We started on our electric stove, we have electricity, we're getting a butcher table. We're not quite done, but almost done sowing all the fields and going to move all the debris out. We haven't put in floors yet, so, uh, not the nicest looking place in the world, but hey, we're working on it. Shally, what are you working on right now? Oh, you're mo you're working on the stove still, okay. And, I just remembered, uh, Gertrude, are you done your obedience training yet? No. Okay. Let's actually set you to only be in the home area. I don't want Gertrude wandering too far from home. Okay. So, one thing we need is we want a freezer in here, and to start collecting food like berries and stuff. So what I'm gonna do is zoom out, double click a berry bush. Ah, you can't, okay. Let's, uh, harvest. And I want to collect a bunch of berries. If we have meat and berries, we can make better food, although I don't think anyone's a good enough cook to do it. A fine meal takes just as much food as a simple meal does. However, people like it more. You just need a variety of vegetables and meats. Okay, so who's our best cook again? Uh, cook zero, zero, three. Okay, so the best we can do is simple meals. So let's just set this up real quick. Simple meals, do until we have uh, 10, let's do 15. And I want to butcher creatures forever. Whenever we have an animal corpse, we'll butcher it because we get leather and meat. And I also want to make kibble. That way we can make kibble out of hay and meats and stuff, and uh, that'll give us more, uh, how do I word it, a better way to feed our animal without having to worry about using up all of our meat feeding it. Alright, Shelly's going around and picking berries, the garden's coming along well, still having to rip out a lot of grass and bushes and stuff to keep planting, but progress seems to be being made, which is nice. How big is this zone? Okay. So we have no defenses. If a pirate raid were to start and they had guns, we wouldn't have any way of defending ourselves. We have enough steel that I think we can get away with making the corners of this place. Um, sandbags. It's 24 plus 18 for each corner. Okay. That's not horrible. We can afford that. I think, yeah, that's what the gap is. Okay. And we can uh, haul all of that out. Haul that out. I just want to haul all the rocks out of our zone here so we can put up a little bit of a defense. Okay, so those sandbags are done. Good. The sandbags count as security entirely because it's something to hide behind. And I'll be putting in some wood flooring behind these to not only get to them faster, but to make sure we don't have trees and bushes growing where we need to stand to get cover. So this is to help guarantee that if we get attacked, we've got better cover than whoever we're fighting. So Shally's working on that right now. Gotta cut some down some trees to do it too. Mad animal, hold on. Local squirrel has gone mad. That's not very dangerous. Uh, it's right there, and it will get to us in a long while. Okay. Where is it? I shouldn't have unclicked it. Lost track of it. Oh, hey, package survival meal. And I should open up that ship chunk. Get some stuff from it. Oh, there it is. Uh, who's our medic? Our doctor is Mandy. Then I'm gonna have someone who's not Mandy go deal with this. You've got the knife, Shally, so you go take care of that squirrel. I mean, a gun would work, but I think the knife's a little more reliable with something small like this. Oh, she one-shot it. Nice. That's good. Didn't get any bites, so I didn't need to worry about taking care of that. Okay, we need to... Yeah, we need to cut plants in here. They're just gonna die anyway. There we go, I think that's all of them. Mandy's butchering up that squirrel. We got a tiny bit of squirrel leather from it, but hardly any. And she's taking the time to cook, nice. Power generation is passable so far. Honestly, we have nothing to use it on but the stove, so it's basically just being stored up. 
probably want to get a second uh, solar generator. We have just enough steel to get away with it. I should probably get on some mining orders. Let's just have a little bit of a mining order there. And we want to get this room frozen. So right now, our simple mills will spoil in three days. Now, that's not good enough. A cooler takes 90 steel and three components. We're good on components for now, but this is all stuff we're gonna have to take care of. Okay, so that was basically an all-day job, having them do the fields. Uh, summer's coming. Good. I like when summer arrives, because that tells me that we're not close to winter, and winter's when we can't grow. So, yeah, we can probably get a good harvest or two of corn in before it's too cold to grow. This also means that we don't need air conditioners all over the place yet, so that's pretty useful. Like that we have that table to eat at. We're gonna need a lamp in here, they'd like that, but, you know, it takes a lot of electricity, and we don't have a whole lot of electricity at the moment. Ooh, harvest that. Alright, the mining's going well. We have all the sandbags in the corners done, which is what I care about the most right now. And let's get a cooler in here. That'll do. That way we can start making that into a freezer instead of just a room. It looks like Mandy is starting to haul all the junk off of our property. Good. And let's put this at freezing temperatures. I'm going to aim for negative five. Now, it will sap a lot of power. Yeah, we're not storing nearly as quickly now. However, this food will last forever if it's frozen. So that's pretty valuable to us. Let's get that second door in there to help keep it warm. That way, every time we open that door to cook, it's not uh, letting a whole bunch of heat in. There we go. Now I do want to switch those out with auto doors at some point so that it's not slowing down the cooking so much. Wanderer joins. This is a normal thing to happen early. And we have a new person with us. Uh, 60, or no, not 64 years old. That's getting confusing me a lot. 24 years old. Really good at art. Likes animals. Good. We didn't have anyone who could do that before. They're trigger happy, so they have bad aim, but uh, they shoot fast. Can't mine. Um... Doesn't like bo uh, bionic body parts. Psychically deaf, which I like. It means they're immune to psychic things that happen. Uh, naked and a little pain. Do you have a scar? Old gunshot wound in the leg. Doesn't slow you down too much. Okay, let's, uh, let's give you some jobs. Okay, so there's the base stuff done. Animal handling. You're the best one at it, so you're gonna do it. Uh, wow, you are really bad at growing. Um, I don't want you crafting because you're not good at that either. Are you our best artist? You are our best artist. Okay. Uh, you're mostly going to be hauling and cleaning, I think. Just because you are not good at much. And let's name you. Uh, come on, where is it? Where is it? Here we go. Fairy. For Secret Fairy. Because it's the next name that came to mind. So you're naked, right? And you're wearing absolutely nothing. We need to get you some clothes. It's a good thing it's summer. But we're going to have to produce some clothing. So get an electric tailoring bench here. So if I were to have that there. Um, I could have a tool cabinet here. And a tool cabinet. Oh no, I could just have two tool cabinets there. Because you can have up to two tool cabinets attached to every workbench and makes them work faster. Alright, we're still cutting a lot of wood here, which is good because we need that. It looks like the fields are done. There we go, we have more things hauled. Good. Really starting to clean things out more. Give us more room to move. Okay, all of our property is cleaned out in terms of debris. It's all been moved to the side of the, uh, well, what will be. A wall of sandbags. And we have a good amount of wood. Oh, right, we need a bed. Um, get another bed built. Uh, who's our builder again? It's Shally, right? Cutting oak tree? No, go take care of the bed right away. Because Fury's gonna want to sleep. Good quality bed, sweet. And I want the place that you sleep and eat in to look nice. 
So let's get rid of the penalty for it being just dirt. And put in some wood flooring. There we go, Fury's getting some sleep. We have the electric tailoring bench done. Now it does work without electricity, if the electricity goes out. Um, it's just not as fast. So we want a button-down shirt, and we want pants. Those are the most important things right away. I'd also like to get, uh, what do you call it? A cowboy hat, because it gives you social skills, so it's good for your trader to have it. Or whoever your high social skill person is. Good for recruiting people, good for getting better prices when trading, good for a lot of things. The cotton is growing very well, that's good, we'll need that for making clothing, as well as leathers. And I should actually hunt more. Who are our hunters again? Mandy and MDB. Okay. Let's set up more hunting orders now that we actually have a freezer. Feels like all the animals have wandered off. Well, there's the old grizzly bear. Squirrels aren't much, but I mean, it's something. It's a target to shoot at and get some skill from. Tortoise. Rat. There are a lot of things that aren't very threatening here. Yeah, just aim at a lot of small animals for now. At least they're not dangerous. There we go. That was an easy kill. What did you kill? Squirrel? A rat. Ooh. Uh, Gertrude is following MDB. Gertrude, that means you know obedience now. Your master should be Mandy, because Mandy's the one you're bonded to. That'll make Mandy happier. There you go. And I'll also s uh, should I make it so that Gertrude doesn't follow Mandy around when Mandy's not... Um... Oh, what's it called? When Mandy's not... Drafted? I don't, I don't care. I'll let her follow him around whenever. Unhappy nudity. Yeah, Fairy's not a nudist, but has no clothing, so Fairy's not thrilled about that. But whenever we're able to, uh, who's our tailor again? Shally. Whenever Shally's able to, Shally will start making some clothing for Fairy. Right now, they're just still cutting trees because of that old cut tree order, which I'm fine with. Yeah, Mandy, you're gonna have to start, uh, good, you're butchering more squirrels, getting me some leather. Again, it's worth almost no leather, but it's something. Outfits. Colonists will automatically try to wear the highest quality, the newest and highest quality apparel they can. Yeah, that's good. I already understand how to do that. I already understand how to get more traders and I understand what medical tabs are. So we'll just get rid of all that. What are you killing now? Uh, oh, you're walking back. Oh, hey, there's a ram over there. You should hunt that. That's going to have a lot of meat and leather. Same with that rabbit. Yeah, get a lot of hunting in while these animals are still around, and it gets our shooting skill up early. But man, we do need some research done. Shally is our best researcher, but she's also our constructor, she's our crafter. Let's actually have her cut plant priority lower, so she's less likely to be cutting trees and stuff when she could be doing other more important things. Oh, she's harvesting some rice, apparently some of our rice was ready. It's just me or Fury moving slowly. Oh, right, she has that old gunshot wound in her leg. Well, if we ever get a bionic leg, we'll replace her leg with it. And Shelly's picking some berries. Right, because uh, research is considered low priority. Let's actually up her priority on research for now. Just so we have someone actually researching. Great, there's an eclipse. So temporarily, we're without electricity, or at least without generating more electricity. That's not good. Okay, well... Eh. Okay. Set up another generator for when it's online. Oh, we got a raid. Okay, prepare defense or attack them preemptively. The red shaws, or red saws, I'm illiterate. Okay, it's so only one person. They have an awful quality limestone club. They are only wearing pants. They have an artery blockage in their heart. They've got some scars. They are not that tough, they're greedy, and have a green thumb. They're awesome at growing and an awesome medic. If I can take this person alive, I want to, and good at mining. They're good at a lot of things we're bad at. If I can take this person alive, I'd love to. Um, we could all just gang up and punch the person, because that's almost a guarantee that we take them alive, but they're likely to do some serious damage. Um, do we want to resort to that? 
who's our medic again? Who's our best doctor? Our best doctor is Mandy. Maybe we'll keep everyone but Mandy out of the fight, or have Mandy go in the fight last, so they're punching Mandy last. I think that's what I'll do. Uh, so, Shally, go in there and drop off your knife so we can prepare for this. Uh, gear. Drop knife. There you go. Just because I don't want the person getting shanked in the throat or something. And we'll put down uh, a... You know, we'll, we'll make a bed for them. Shall I get in here and make this prisoner bed real quick? Because I want them to be happy so they'll join us, so we have a good quality bed for them. So they should feel- they should feel privileged we've made them a good quality bed. It's probably better than they have at their- their pirate camp. Okay, this person's actually really close. Shelly's, uh, just working cutting the trees where we want to make that, uh, solar panel. Okay. They'll attack soon. Yeah, everybody have a meal. They're beginning their assault. Okay. Everybody gang up here. Ooh, I don't want you making shots. Uh, where did you hit them? Torso? Okay, they'll probably be okay. Mandy, you're the one. Yeah, I, I should be turning off allow firing. Okay. Everybody go in for melee. Mandy, you'll go in for melee last. Oh, good. Gertrude is also biting up. Oh, nope, we killed them. <laughs> Fuck. Come on. Oh, what was the lethal move here? Bites, a lot of bruises. Man, I can't believe we killed them. <laughs> Not one punch to the head. A lot of torso punching. Man, that's lame. All right, we didn't get to take the body. Let's, uh, strip the body. Not that the pants are any good, but you know. And we'll dig a grave for them out here. Shelly, go dig that grave. MDB, you're hurt. Uh, a bruise on your head from the club. A bruise is not a big deal. And go bury that body right away before it starts bothering our people. They don't exactly like seeing a corpse when they walk around. There we go. Damn, we could have really used that person taken alive. Okay, uh, Mandy, you're a medic, so finish butchering that. And you want to go tend to him with medicine? He really doesn't need medicine. So I'm going to say don't use medicine. Uh, just... No, come on. Don't use medicine, thank you. And then just treat him without medicine. There you go. Doesn't mean if the quality of- doesn't matter if the, the quality was low. It's a club bruise. You'll be fine. I probably didn't even need to treat him, to be honest. But there we go. Progress, I guess. Just sucks how things had to turn out. Okay, so we have that second thing set up. We still have plenty of power built up, actually, to keep things frozen for a while, which I appreciate. Ooh, a lot of this cotton's gonna be ready in a day or two. A lot of this cotton. This fertile soil makes things grow so much faster. It's great. MDB going for a walk. I think we can safely uh, start to expand here a little bit. We want a stonecutter's table. I don't know if we really need that immediately, though. I'm trying to think, what do I want to do next? Well, it doesn't hurt to collect more steel. So we're going to collect some more steel, have that mining thing set up. Maybe I'll get more sandbags, but it seems like a low priority to me at the moment, honestly. Do I want to keep those bits there? I think I might want to. Uh, uh, you know what? No, I don't need them. So let's just increase the uh, dumping stockpile there. In fact, I messed up this dumping stockpile. Should be like this, and then another one like that. 
That's what it should be. So we can uh, prioritize hauling those two, just because that's one of our entrances that we're going to have. Unhappily nude, yeah. Almost out of electricity, our freezer is going to turn off soon. That's not good. We could make an emergency wind turbine or a fuel generator, but I'd honestly rather not. The eclipse is probably going to end soon. Alright, uh... Harvest some more berries and stuff. Here we go. Just in time to start getting some electricity again. And we're generating at double the speed than we were before, now that we have two power generators. Perfect. And uh, get a door right there. Psychic drone. Every female winces in pain? Actually, Fairy does not, does she? No, she's psychically deaf. She's not affected by this, which is very important. Uh, Shally, on the other hand, is quite affected by this. Luckily, she doesn't have any ability that uh, makes her more likely to mentally break, so she can probably handle it as long as we keep an eye on her, make sure she's doing all right. All right, made some kibble. Awesome. So now Gertrude has something to eat. Shally's working on research. Mandy's having a meal. Mandy's back to cooking. This is going pretty well, actually. Mandy, are you getting any better at cooking? Not really. Um, you got better at it by a one. You don't have any passion for cooking, unfortunately. And someone got food poisoning. Did it say it was Mandy? Mandy got food poisoning from her own cooking. Great. At least she's getting better at cooking. There you go, making more kibble. Shally got food poisoning as well. Damn it. Okay, we should have enough electricity to make it through the night. Okay. Yeah, we're puking all over the place. Uh, Shally, go clean up your puke. People are gonna be miserable sleeping in the room with the vomit. Okay, uh, temporarily, let's just have that not set to for prisoner. Let's have it set to medical. Just so they don't think that's a prison for now, and they aren't afraid to put things in there or eat in there. Okay, we have a good amount of wood. So, what we're gonna do... is set up a wood perimeter. We'll lose a little bit of corn there, but whatever. Set up a perimeter of wood flooring. I want to start actually putting flooring in this place. There we go. We have an order to start putting flooring in all of our base. You can walk a lot faster on the wood floor than you can the dirt, after all. And plus, our people like having floors more than they like walking on dirt. So, our people will have less issues with how things look. I'd also really like to start setting up... Uh, what's that under furniture? Yeah, standing lamps. So we'll have those. Also have potted plants set around the area to make people uh, happier with the environment because it'll look nicer and that'll again make them happy there we go now it does take electricity of course so there's that to be concerned with like that trip wire of a cord going across all right i'm really happy with this progress actually we've got a nice looking little base here not the most well-defended thing in the world, and that is something- Oh, new lovers. MDB and Shally! Shally, I'm gonna have to rename you now, because that's weird. Sorry, Shally. You've completely changed human beings and are now Fatima, who's my fiancé. Because <laughs> it's fucking weird if me and Shally are lovers. Sorry, Shally, you've been retconned out of history. <laughs> Alright, the flooring is going well. Fairy, we really gotta get you some clothing. <laughs> it's it's a little depressing. Okay, so for growing skill. We are all still hot garbage at it. Until we get someone to skill six, there's uh nothing we can do in terms of making new crops, and I would really like to make new crops. Okay, so we've got light in the important areas that we're in a lot. Makes people happier. Wouldn't mind putting a second battery in here, but I don't think we really need a second battery yet. 
Okay, bringing the berries inside. That's good, having a variety of food. Okay. Uh, I don't like rats being where our food is because they're going to try and eat it. We want to try and keep animals off of our land. Okay, I need to be more on top of setting up hunting. Careful. Careful where you're shooting with everyone walking around it, Mandy. I don't know if I should have you hunting, Mandy. Oh my god, you're gonna shoot your fucking dog if you're not careful. You know what? Let's have it so that your pet doesn't follow you when they're doing field work. Because field work includes hunting. There we go, that's safer. Perfect. And, oh yeah, more food poisoning, great. Thought you were becoming a better cook. Maybe it's because we're eating a bunch of rats. Well, at least we're getting rat leather. The best leather. Okay, we blew through all of our wood pretty fast. Let's, uh, let's just go from corner to corner with another cut wood and cut tree order. Because we do have a lot of trees in here that are now grown enough to cut and get a decent amount of wood out of. So we got that order set up. Fear is just sitting down at the table, relaxing socially. We have a lot of cotton here that's basically ready. We should actually up our priority on plant cut. Um, Fear, you don't do much. So, actually, you know, yeah. Am I happy with this? I don't know. You hunt and clean. That's like all you do. MDB, so you can, when you're not fighting, you can have a higher priority of cutting plants. I wish I had someone who could just be a farmer, versus they cut plants and they grow stuff, and that's what they focus on, because really you don't need many people doing it, you just need someone who does it all the time. Okay, and MDB's up early cutting trees now, this is good, because I'm Canadian, so of course I'm a lumberjack. Harvest that, now that we can. Oh, oh, that was an autosave. I was worried for a second that it froze. Uh, fire preparation, right? Use less flammable materials. Yeah, wood's cheap and fast, but very flammable. That is a problem. Oh, uh, psychic drone is ending, it says in the top left. Nice. Uh, use fire bricks to stop wildfires in your base. Simple concrete floor, four, three to four cells in general stops it. Yeah, we might do that in the future. Of just putting in some flooring as a buffer in case of a wildfire getting too close. We likely will do that. Plus, it'll mean trees don't grow there. It becomes a bit of a no man's zone. That if enemies have to run across it, we can take really easy shots at them as they run. There we go. Fatima running around and finishing up that flooring on the outside so we can run around the perimeter of our base quickly. That's pretty valuable. Fear is moving all the cotton inside that we can use to make clothing. There we go. Fatima actually took a break there. Uh, in between when we're getting wood, Fatima's inside making clothing for Fairy. Perfect. Uh, so what are you making? A uh, button-down shirt. Okay. Perfect. Food poisoning from simple meal. God damn. Oh, cows join. A group of abandoned cows came in. They're accustomed to human contact and are joining the colony. Oh. We just... We just got two cows! That's really lucky. Okay, well first of all, tell them that they're only allowed to be in our home area, so they stay near us. But I probably want to set up a zone for them. Let's, uh, area, animal area one. I don't want them eating my crops, so we're gonna just tell them to hang out here. Luckily it's the summer, so they'll be fine. Alright, so that's where they are. Um, we'll give them animal sleeping spots there. Not that it matters, but if they get wounded, they'll know to go there and lay down and we can perform surgery on them. I'm happy with getting some cows on the team. That's awesome, because we can milk them. So, um, this one is, uh, must be female because it says milk fullness on it. Are they, yeah, they're both cows, neither are bulls, so they're both female. Okay. Okay, well, if we can get a bull at some point so they can reproduce, that'd be good, and 
if we don't feel like they're that useful, we could also sell them. Cattle sells for a good price. I think we're almost getting at the point where we could actually have send a caravan out. I don't like having so few people in sending out a caravan because you never know when a raid comes by, but raids are usually based on the value of your place. If we check history here, we can see our wealth total. The total wealth of our area, raid arrived, total wealth of our area is a good indicator of how strong of pirates will show up. Visitors. They seem to have a few items to trade. Okay. Who's our talker again? Mandy. Mandy will wake up from her nap when they arrive. Okay, it looks like that button-down shirt's almost done. It'll probably get finished tomorrow. Now that all the flooring is done. We have a good amount of steel. We can actually finish the, uh, sandbags and we probably should- Oh god, what happened? We had a short circuit. Okay, hold on. What can we buy and sell? Um... We could, uh, we could sell these snow leather, or the snow hair leather pants that are shoddy quality. I kind of don't want them. Uh, is there anything we want to buy? See, these things are all off limits. They're not interested in buying these. And, uh, left is to buy on this menu. I wouldn't mind buying the Kevlar helmet, to be honest, but, you know, I don't need any of this stuff that badly. Oh, we have a fire going on. Stamp that out real quick, and Fatima, we need you to fix this wiring issue. Yeah, that broke, and we need you to fi fix it right away, because our air conditioner and freezer is turned off. I know it sucks to wake up and do. There you go. Oh shit. Is it out at more than that part? Oh god. We also lost all of the power in our battery. Okay, this stuff won't spoil overnight, but still. Oh, ship. Uh, chunks landed here. I didn't even notice. We'll deconstruct those in the morning. It'll give us components and stuff. Components and steel. God, they're running in here and disturbing our sleep. Yeah, we don't have individual bedrooms yet. That's- that's a while off. Okay, at least the power is back on. <laughs> and, uh, Gertrude in there eating our human food. Because we spoil our dog. Should be feeding it kibble. The kibble's mostly for training, though. Um, speaking of, do we want to train these things in anything? All they can learn is obedience and release. Release is telling them to charge. I really don't need to do any of that. Okay, Fatima repairing some stuff, and now she is deconstructing those ship parts to get a steel and components, which is very valuable to us. Cargo pods are landing. Corn? Hell yeah, we'll take 222 corn right next to our base. That's awesome. Uh, visitors doesn't say that they have anything to sell. Okay, let's uh, let's up our security. If you're wondering why I click around there so much and uh, miss like the correct thing, my microphone crane arm is a little bit in the way of my vision on that side of the monitor. Okay, we made a button-down shirt. Nice. Of what quality? Eh, shoddy quality. Still, Fairy, you're naked. You should probably go wear something. You know, I'm just gonna force you to wear that stuff, because it's better to wear terrible quality clothing than it is to wear nothing. So at least you're clothed. You're staying a little warm. Okay, looks like the sandbags are going well. Could be a raid at any moment, you never know. Okay, we need to set up more hunting priorities, actually. Um, raccoon, you can hunt that. It's a good amount of fur on that thing. Not many animals right now. A mother file I've been playing a lot. There are animals all over the place. Not getting lucky with this one. A boar and a rabbit, we can hunt them. Rabbit fur is good fur. Uh, Mandy, right, you're- you're the hunter. Oh, you're one of the hunters. MDB is also a hunter. Okay, bring back that raccoon. Nice. Mandy, are you also our cook? I don't remember. Yeah, you're also the cook. Uh, but your cooking's- your cooking priority's much higher, so you know that that's more important. Good. In fact, uh, what's your cooking skill now? Still at four. Damn. Hunting seems to be going well, though. Good, bring that hair back. 
Got plenty of kibble. Make- oh. I meant to do, uh, do until you have. No wonder we had way too much kibble. Yeah, just do until you have 50 kibble. That's- that's plenty. If we have 270, at least kibble never goes bad, does it? Yeah. Kibble never, uh, goes bad, so we've got a lifetime supply there. Now we're gonna waste less of our resources on too much kibble. Spend it on our food instead. Many can spend that extra time, uh, replanting the garden. Perfect. Visitors are leaving again. Looks like, uh, the sandbags are being slowed down a lot just cutting trees, which is fine. I mean, we need the wood. We're low on wood. Really need those auto doors done. We need more research is what it is, but Fatima's always so busy. Um, maybe we should up the priority of research on MDB too. You know what, let's do that. Make them both more likely to research. And in fact, um, let's get a table or a chair there rather. It's because the person who's researching is gonna spend a lot of time sitting there and researching. So I'd rather they be able to sit down than stand. But I am happy that we're getting the sandbags out of the way first, because the sandbags really are the most important thing. You know, make sure we're not dying no matter what direction they're coming from. And at some point we might need to put a door right here just in case this gets damaged or something and we need to get in there and repair it. All in all though, I think that's a solid time to end the second episode. Thanks again everybody for watching and until next time, have a nice day.